everyone, welcome to today's episode of Cooking with NMC. Today we're going to be making a beef and butternut casserole. It's a really easy, versatile and very healthy recipe. Each serving is packed with four different portions of, of vegetables. And we've got the, the beef, which is really lean beef goulash, uh, a good source of protein and iron. A little bit of red wine adds a lot of flavor and in the cooking process the alcohol of the red wine actually cooks away and just leaves a rich flavor behind so it is suitable for anyone who does not drink alcohol the wine is optional but the bacon as well um, it just adds a bit of flavor and it's also back bacon that we are not adding too much fat and that's that's the main goal of this recipe it's really low in fat rich in taste, rich in vitamins and minerals, um, as well as fiber, which is all really good for your gut and um, for your immune system as well. I hope you enjoy it. Now that you know why this recipe is so good for you, let's see how Shiwa puts it all together for us. Over to you, Shiwa. Thank you, Samantha. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my first episode of Cooking with NMC. For those of you who've been following the series, I'm sure you're used to seeing me on Baking with NMC. But today we're doing something different. We're cooking. And today we're going to be preparing a hearty beef and butternut casserole. Let me take you through the ingredients. Butternut, a tin of diced tomatoes, leek, one chopped onion, mushrooms, beef goulash, two rashes of back bacon, rosemary, some olive oil, garlic, eight black olives, two bay leaves, and 150 ml of red wine. I almost forgot some salt and pepper to taste. Let's get cooking. Okay, so we've already preheated our pot. So now we're going to add our olive oil. And then we're going to fry our bacon and add our rosemary. You can also use fresh springs of rosemary for this recipe. And we're going to stir. We're then going to add our bay leaves. our garlic and then our chopped leek together with some onions we're going to cook this for about 10 minutes uh, stirring continuously We're going to mix until all our ingredients are well combined. It's almost like baking, but we're cooking. <laughs> okay, so we're going to cover this and let it cook for about 10 minutes and then add our butternut. Now we're going to add our main ingredient, our butternut. We've cut it into cubes. So we're going to stir. Just a little bit and then we're going to add our mushrooms we've also sliced them in half we've used white button mushrooms we're going to stir them again
And lastly, we're going to add our beef goulash. And then we're going to pour over some red wine. Now we're going to cover our pot and let it simmer for 10 minutes. So our 10 minutes are up. Let's have a look at what's cooking. Mmm, some rich aroma. Now that the alcohol has cooked away, we're going to add a can of diced tomatoes. Followed by our deboned black olives. And then we're just we're going to stir until it combines. And a pinch of salt and pepper to taste. And now that it's all come together, we're going to pop it in the oven. So we've already preheated our oven to 180 degrees. Since our pot is oven proof, we're just going to lift the lid and put it in the oven. If you don't have an oven proof pot, you can always take out the mix, put it in a casserole dish such as this one, and then put it in the oven. Be careful not to burn. So now we're going to let it bake for 45 minutes until it's thick and delicious. Our 45 minutes are up. Let's take out our beef and butternut casserole. Samantha, our casserole is ready. Wow, that looks great. Let's have a taste. Yes. Thank you. Got some black pepper. Do you also like some? Yes, please. Very Thank good. you. to get all the elements in. Definitely. <laughs> mm. It's really good. Really hearty and mm. rich. There's not much meat, but the mushrooms more than make up for it. Definitely. And the vegetables have actually absorbed all the flavor as well. So just it just reminds me of winter it's just got this real winter taste to yeah. it here mm, well done thank you <laughs> well thank you for joining me on my first episode of cooking with nmc i'm sure we've established that i can cook just as well as i can bake i totally agree she <laughs> were so be sure to try out the recipe in the description below we hope you enjoyed as much as we did 
and follow us on all the social media platforms. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Bye.